I've been growing a rosemary out in the garden for a few years with the idea of collecting it for bonsai someday. I first planted this from nursery stock two and a half years ago. It gets full sun here, seems to love the location. I cut it back hard every spring and it's built a substantial amount of mass over time. We're doing some improvements and we want the space back in the garden, so some day has come. Today I'll show you how I collected it and how it's doing after a few weeks in the pot. To start, I pruned away some of the mass. Not enough though, as we'll see later. The second step is to get it out of the ground. For this, I cut a circle around the root line and then I continue to circle around the base, gradually going deeper and deeper under the root ball. This rosemary had not built up a particularly deep root structure, so the whole thing went pretty fast and it dislodged very quickly. I'm a little nervous about this since I've been doing research on them and I know that rosemary do not love extensive root work. I'm trying to keep as much of the root ball intact as possible so that I can be selective about shaping them for the new pot. Once it's broken free and completely dislodged, I'll move it to a good space to work on it. Now that it's out of the ground, I can get a better look at its trunk structure. The first thing I want to do is get rid of some of the excess branches down low on the trunk that won't be part of the final form. This one had died back from a previous pruning, showing how picky these trees can be. In all my research about how to bonsai rosemary, one thing keeps coming up over and over. Rosemary are very sensitive to root work. My plan is to start out with a pretty good sized clay pot and minimize the amounts of root I cut initially. Over the years, I'll move into smaller and smaller containers. So I'm selecting the longer and thicker roots to remove and leaving much of the root ball intact. For soil, I'll use a volcanic mix that has fairly high levels of organic matter, similar to the soil it was growing in. Then I'll mix in a lot of additional pumice to improve drainage. This will be a great medium for the tree to develop a fine root structure, which will be key to being able to reduce the pot size over the years. Now I'm going to make my first attempt to plant the tree in its new home, but it doesn't work out at all. It's a windy day and the tree is imbalanced and has too much mass to stand in the pot. I remove a few branches to try and balance it so it can stand upright in the pot, but it just won't work this way. I need to do something really different. I move it to a spot with some protection from the wind and position it in the pot for a second attempt. There's still a lot of mass here, so I need to do a fairly heavy pruning on the long straight shoots that grew out this summer. Rosemary won't back bud over old wood, so you have to be careful to only cut into the newer growth or it can cause the whole branch to die back. I ended up removing quite a bit of mass through this process. Now that it's starting to take form, I can see this would make a good front, but these lower branches would be pointing out at the viewer. 
There's some dieback from them from last spring's pruning, so they would need to come off anyway. But to get the tree to the right size and balance, I have to make some hard choices because I want to minimize the impact of the tree, and I'm aware that the fact that every cut I make could be the one that pushes the tree over the edge. More roots need to come off to let it fit easily into the pot and still leave room for expansion and growth. I get it positioned in the pot for the final time. It doesn't really matter what direction it's facing since it's a round pot, but I finally get it where I want it and it's ready to be backfilled. I'm careful to make sure the soil isn't overpacked, but also that there aren't any dead spots and none of the roots are left exposed. I want very even coverage of the soil in the pot. It's setting pretty solid, but to protect it while the roots take hold, I brace it with some rocks to prevent it from being accidentally knocked loose or any issues with the wind. I give it a good watering and put it in the shade for a few weeks to recover from the shock of the pruning and the transplant. Here we are two weeks later and it's mostly recovering well. One branch has died back though. We'll remove that and it actually improves the composition of the planting considerably. It will take several years to shape this into a proper bonsai, but I think it's off to a pretty good start. Check back in for updates on this and other trees.